Now, what's interesting, after all this wonderful saying of Paul, saying he's given up all his earthly gains in order to uh, pursue the purposes for which he has been called in Christ, his journey uh, is not completed yet. Inspired by the Spirit of God, writing this amazing letter to the Philippian church, he's still on a journey. Because he says in verse 12, not that I've already obtained this or I've already arrived at my goal. So he has a goal that he's still working toward that gives him meaning in life. Now, we already know from the Philippian letter that he has said, for me to live as Christ and die is gain. So he recognizes that his life is going to end in eternity with God. But what is the purpose of his life? Well, it's to serve the Philippian church. But it's also for this reason that, that he's, he's describing here in verse 12. There's a goal in his life that he is pursuing with everything that is in him. He says, I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. This is significant. Check out the newest series on Praise and Harmony TV. Ten Profound Eternal Truths by Dr. Albert Lemons. This in-depth series covers everything from the triune God and the virgin birth all the way to the resurrection. Dive deeper into the truths you've heard about your whole life. Jesus wept. Jesus didn't cry because a good man was dead. Jesus wept because a good man would have to go back to the grave again. And his coming out was necessary to prove the validity and authenticity of Jesus Christ and his ministry. Use this series as an outreach tool to help new believers better understand the message of the cross. 10 Profound Eternal Truths by Dr. Albert Lemons, available on praiseandharmony.tv today.